Okay, this is problem 11.1.11, and they want us to give the exact solutions, <clears throat> um, both the exact solutions and the approximate solutions to three decimals to this problem right here. Okay, so this is already in the form of something squared, and so I'm going to go ahead and just use the square root on both sides to simplify this side here. The square root of x minus 1 squared will become x minus 1 and we have plus or minus the square root of 12 on this other side. Okay, <clears throat> and if we're going to leave it in exact form, um, first thing we need to do is take this 1 and move it over to the other side. So we have x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 12. Okay, we need to simplify the square root of 12. Um, and so if we look at 12 in terms of a tree diagram, and break that down, it breaks down into 2 squared times 3 in its prime factored form. So <clears throat> when I rewrite that under the radical, 2 squared times 3, um, the square root of 2 squared is just going to be 2. So this will actually simplify to 1 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 3. And this is the exact form for the solutions. Um, to find the approximate solutions, we're then going to need to use our calculator and they want us to take it to three decimal places. So it's important to notice here that we actually have two solutions here. This is 1 plus 2 times the square root of 3 and 1 minus 2 times the square root of 3. So let's look at those separately for the approximates. <coughs> So for the first one here, we're just going to use our calculator. So I'm just going to take the square root of 3. And however you get that on whatever calculator you're using. So I get 1.73, 2, etc. I'm going to go ahead and multiply that by 2 and then add 1. And I see a value here, 4.464, when I round that to three decimal places. Okay, we'll do the same thing over here. It's just a minus sign now, so I've got the square root of 3 and times 2, and that's 3.46, so I've got 1 minus the 3.464, and when we do that subtraction, we're just going to get a negative 2.464. Okay, so these are our approximate solutions, and these are your exact solutions for this problem.